Roblox groups just got a huge update and it's kinda bad. Roblox is doing something interesting. This Roblox marketplace update is awesome, and more insane Roblox news today that you won't wanna miss. Hello and welcome back to another Roblox news video. Today we have 7 insane stories that you won't wanna miss. Uploads should be back, had to take a break because I got a bit burnt out. I don't wanna upload any videos that didn't have that bacon place feel to it. Let's start with a marketplace update coming soon and it's pretty awesome. So RDC tweeted you can now share your outfits onto the avatar marketplace. This allows for users to shop for community made avatars while giving the outfit creator a percentage of the revenue. This is honestly pretty cool, it's a good way for people to make sweet robux. I think you just make an avatar, you can put it on sale and if people buy it you get a percentage of the revenue. That's awesome man. Here's a screenshot from Bloxy News showing how you upload the avatars, tap the plus icon at the top right of the avatar editor and select post avatar, give your avatar a name and description, post your avatar to the public on the marketplace, share the link to your avatar to allow other people to view the total value and included items. This is gonna be an awesome way to make robux. Hopefully you can just upload it without having to do anything else, like you don't need to spend robux to actually upload the avatar, if you don't have to do all those things like spend robux to upload the avatar, that'll be even cooler. Let's go to our next story with Roblox potentially removing gear soon. So Bloxy News tweeted Roblox has removed the allowed gear label from the experience details page. Gears will still be usable in any experience that has gear enabled, but the type of gear allowed will no longer be prominently shown. Gears have been useless for ages now, like Roblox doesn't care about them. I'm a Roblox player that couldn't experience Prime Gears since I didn't properly start play Roblox until 2017 but did play a bit back in 2016-2015, so I couldn't actually experience how good Gears were unfortunately. This is pretty much the removal of Gears, no point buying them. From the 9 years I've been playing Roblox, I've never saw anyone have a gear equip on their avatar. In a game where there are gears automatically like a gravity coil sure, but I'm a random Roblox game I never saw anyone have a gear on. They have such potential too, it's just sad. Let's go to our next story with Precraft scheduled doing an insane stream. I know it's old news but don't judge me man I was on a break lol. RDC tweeted according to Creekcraft. Plans to stream Roblox with Kamala Harris were unfortunately cancelled. Yes, the Kamala Harris who is in today's US elections. That Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris was going to play Roblox with Creecraft. Creecraft also said for the stream to have happened he had to get checked by the secret service and everything. There are people who are saying this shouldn't have happened and that politics shouldn't be anywhere near Roblox. I mean especially considering the elections are literally today. There's a tweet here I'll hide the person's name who tweeted it because politics can be a large debate which is completely fair. It says okay listen, no matter what political side you are, I don't think this kinds of stuff should be on Roblox, it could be any politician from any side or whatever, I don't think we should bring this type of stuff to Roblox. So that's kinda crazy, Creekcraft was gonna stream Roblox with Kamala Harris. Let's go to our next story with Roblox doing something interesting. So Bloxy News tweeted Roblox will soon let users provide additional context as to why they upvoted or downvoted an experience. So Roblox is asking you why you upvoted with a bunch of options, and why you downvoted. This is probably to see what games should be recommended or something, but I'ma be honest I don't downvote or upvote any games unless I genuinely love them or it's one of the worst games I've ever played. This is still good though, it's a cool update. Let's go to our main story it wasn't meant to be this far into the video there will be a pinned comment for the time of the main story, a huge Roblox groups update coming soon and it's kinda bad. So Bloxy News tweeted in preparation for the release of Roblox communities or forums and in efforts to keep children safe on the platform, posting to a group wall is now limited to users ages 13 plus. If your Roblox account is not over 13, you cannot post on a group wall. People are kinda mixed, some say it's good, some say it's bad. I don't really understand why it is locked to 13 plus now though, how can we also gather feedback from users under 13 for our experiences, catalog items, etc. Will there be some sort of tool to allow them to send us feedback as well in the future? Perhaps allow them to send messages in a special made for them, where users above 13 plus can't send messages and perhaps scam these people or spam them or something? I understand privacy is important, but I don't think disabling these users ability to send us reports is a good idea. Honestly, this is good. At the same time, I genuinely think the wall feature should be removed. 
Looking at the walls of various groups, there are unanswered questions regarding games, absolutely meaningless statements, or posts that have no value. The wall feature also poses an additional moderation risk at almost no game. We have seen continued instances of groups in which weirdos are trying to target children, and their accounts are most certainly above the age of 13. For most part I agree that this change has good intentions and makes the most sense. But are there any plans to get rid of the CAPTCHA test required every single time you want to post something on a group wall? Even as the owner of a group, I cannot post on my group wall without completing multiple verification puzzles. It's very annoying and I understand wanting to prevent spam, but heavily verified users should not have to go through this all the time. Cool cool, but how do you expect me to get feedback from users and tell them anything about their feedback? No one under 13, which is about half of all active Roblox users, can now give any feedback unless it's via some one-way system between this change and whenever communities comes out. We're talking a possible half a year gap, that's not great. So people are mixed. Some say it's good, some say it's bad. Let's go to our next and last story and with Roblox doing something awful. So Bloxy News tweeted on April 30th, 2025, Roblox will be removing support for legacy chat and custom chat systems and experiences. Creators must migrate to text chat service by this date to avoid moderation. You might be wondering, this isn't until April, it's literally November why is this a big deal? Well, to avoid moderation. If you don't change, your game is being pretty much banned. Hi creators, we appreciate everyone's feedback. We recognize this is a major change, and wanted to follow up with some clarifications and changes that we've made based on your feedback. We've updated the body of the original post to reflect these changes. Why are we doing this? We want to reiterate, that the primary reason for this change is to ensure that all chat messages between users respect our upcoming parental controls which give more control to parents on who their children can speak with in experience. We anticipate that in the future, we will have to make additional changes to the platform to support different safety or legal requirements, and migrating everyone to text chat service helps us ensure your experiences always follow these requirements and save you time for future updates. Clarifying our policy on moderating non-compliant experiences, we will prioritize auto-migrating first, disabling chat second, and, only as a last resort, restricting access to experiences, so they would only ban games if absolutely necessary, and will mainly auto-change the game, then they would disable chat, then the game would be banned if they don't change. I agree it's kinda dumb in a way like this what if we don't wanna migrate to the new chat system the legacy chat shows previously sent messages but the new one doesn't so what's the point? I don't really feel like changing the old chat in some of my games. This is crazy, my game lives off legacy chat service, now you're imposing US to remove IT? You want to moderate US developers? This is just a terrible idea that will break hundreds of experiences. Unfortunately it seems like these changes are due to legal issues, oh well. What about games from inactive users, will they be content deleted for good? Are you seriously ruining preservation of your classic games like this? Hey, I understand why this update happens, but could you not moderate people for not switching over? Just ban the game and give a warning or something? Or at least send us emails with games whose chat could not be changed? I understand this is a necessary change for Roblox, however, it's quite unfair if people get banned because they don't switch. I have at least 500 Roblox places on my profile, some of which nobody even plays because they're closed. It would be a very big pain for me to change the chat in all of these places, so please consider not giving bans for these games. I beg you not ban people for not changing. A warning or inbox message with these games should be enough. People are not happy. Well if you enjoyed consider subscribing because it's free and greatly appreciated and I wanna hit 2000 before 2025 but it's a huge goal and we are in November. Every sub is one step closer. See ya bacons. Boop.